Hi everyone, thanks for watching my two contents. I'm Sam Kim. In the previous video, I showed you what kind of statistical analysis are available for categorical data. So in this video, I would like to show you how to do proportional test and chi-square test for uh, categorical data. This is data structure. So let's say you have, we have x1 and x2 variable and it takes uh, 0 or 1. Then we can draw this kind of continuous table. So 31 means there are 31 uh, frequencies, observations, which take x1 as 0 and x2 as 0. Right. Uh, we can think of two uh, tests for, uh, the first one is test of homogeneity and second one is test of independence. Again, as you can see, we can, uh, uh, in the end, we can use same, uh, t uh, same uh, test statistic, which is chi-square but uh, distribution is different, right? So uh, test of homogeneity considers binomial distribution and uh, test of independence considers multinomial distributions. However, uh, the same, uh, it uses the same statistic, chi-square statistic. Right, so once you have uh, this continuous table, you may uh, uh, you you will be interested in you, uh, this kind of questions. So how to test the proportion between uh, 3 and over 140 and 17 over 139, you see? And how to measure distance between them. I mean, the distance between observed number and expected number. There is one uh, reference site to understand uh, why this uh, formula follows uh, chi-square distributions and it shows that there are seven different ways to prove uh, chi-square distributions for this data I mean well, for this formula and uh, let's firstly uh, think about proportional test so this is continuous table and this is marginal sum and this is total sum and as you can see in our program, we can think of two different ways for proportional test. So the, uh, the first way is to uh, calculate proportion for uh, row marginal sum. And the second one is actually uh, column marginal sum. As you can see, uh, these two uh, proportional tests uh, takes uh, same uh, chi-square test statistic and uh, p-value, right? So uh, the direction, uh, it, although the direction is different than uh, the proportion test shows the same uh, result, right? Now let's move on uh, how to calculate proportion, how to do proportion test in Excel and uh, chi-square test in, uh, in Excel and R, as you can see. So this is the uh, continuous table we have, and this is expected uh, formula to calculate it uh, expected cell uh, chi-square value and let's uh, start from a uh, proportion test so uh, proportion uh, of control can be calculated by 31 over 140 uh, proportion of treatments 17 over 139 and uh, proportion of total can be calculated by 48 over 279 okay and G value, we can use this formula. Uh, P control minus P treatment and square root of P total times or minus P total and uh, 1 over 140 plus 1 over. 139. Then chi square value is the square of z value. Okay, and df, uh, degrees of freedom, is actually 2 minus 1 times 2 minus 1 because there are two rows and two columns. And p value can be calculated by 1 minus. Uh, I square distribution of chi square value comma 
divisor either, comma, uh, cumulative. Right. So this is the same as our output. And let's get a 90% uh, confidence interval. So standard error for control can be calculated by using this formula. And standard error for treatment uh, can be calculated by using this uh, formula. So uh, as you know, the typical uh, format, square root of P times or minus P over M. So I use this uh, formula to get standard error for control and standard error for treatment. Okay, and this is standard error for uh, total. Okay, square root of this one plus square root of treatment. Standard error of treatment. Okay. Right, then 90% uh, of confidence interval can be calculated by uh, proportional control minus proportional treatment minus uh, normal distribution, inverse of normal distribution, and we can think of uh, half of 5%, so uh, 975, okay, and times standard error of total okay and we can use the same formula but we need, we need to change this one from minus to plus right this is same as uh, our output and this is how to interpret so the 90% uh, confidence interval does not include zero so it means that uh, these two proportions are significantly different okay and let's move on how to calculate a uh, uh, chi-square test. So the observed number for first row and first column is 31 and 109 and 17 and 1 to 2, right? This is uh, observed uh, frequencies from this continuous table and expected uh, value can be calculated by using this formula. So 140 times 48 divided by total sum and uh, this one uh, 140 times uh, second color uh, marginal sum and over total and uh, this one uh, 48 times 139 divided by total uh, samples and finally, this one times this one over total. Right, this is uh, expected uh, frequencies. Then uh, we can calculate uh, chi square value for each uh, cell. So observed minus expected and squared divided by expected. And apply this formula for other cells. And total chi square value can be calculated by using sum of this function and degrees of freedom is actually one uh, thing two minus one times two minus one because there are two rows and two columns and p value can be calculated by one minus chi square dot pist chi square value comma degrees of freedom not true. All right. Again, so uh, we were able to get same uh, chi square value and p value. So uh, as, as I mentioned, uh, when you do proportional test, uh, it doesn't matter uh, whether I mean uh, the direction uh, uh, is uh, doesn't matter. So we can you can have same result, and this is also uh, same as uh, chi square output. Right, so we can say that uh, according to uh, this is how to interpret a uh, chi square test uh, result. So under five percent significance level, uh, this is smaller than five percent. So uh, it has significant uh, relationship. So we can say that 
uh, there are a significant relationship between row and columns according to uh, chi-square test statistic right and also it's same as uh, proportional test output i hope it was useful to understand uh, how to do proportional test and chi-square test in excel and r please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you thank you